welcome back to the channel. This is my uh, 1998 Toyota Tacoma four-wheel drive truck camper if you're new here. Got, uh, well, half the camp set up. We've got one more buddy joining us on this side, but I'll go ahead and, for the newcomers here, do a little walk around of the truck camper setup. Because if, if you guys can tell, we have something new to talk about. So a few years ago, my dad and I built out this wooden truck camper set up here in the back of the Tacoma. And uh, again, just for anyone new here, I want to show you around. So on this side, I have a large pull-out kitchen drawer, which holds just all the kitchen stuff. Stove, pans, coffee stuff, propane for the, the stove. We got things like salt, pepper, seasoning, uh, olive oil, you know, all the things. To the left of the drawer, I have this cubby which runs the whole length of the truck bed. It's a six foot truck bed, so I can do things like fit a fishing rod in there, no dividers. Obviously we've got the bed top up here. I did start out the whole build with building the wooden floor, which just allowed me to basically screw everything like the drawer, everything else into the floor and have a nice sturdy, basically a sturdy bed and a sturdy build. Here we have, well, a new fridge, which I'm gonna break out here soon and show you guys in depth, but Bouge RV sent us out a new fridge to review. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save that for about dinner time and we'll do a whole walk around on this thing show you guys the ins and outs but this is basically what it looks like inside the truck closer look at the inside of the shell i've just got a fan running just to keep me a little bit cooler it's about 90 degrees out so it's it's lovely i've got these little puck lights which just are magnetic puck lights held up to the top of the camper shell it's got a couple sliding windows for ventilation it's got the rear slider which is basically how i clip that fan onto it i've got the mattress set up mid bed just so i don't have to do it later but that's about it. Oh, and then I have a little cubby in the back underneath the bed that's basically behind this drawer here that allows me to store all the bedding, the mattress, all that stuff when it's not in use. And then there's a closer look at the power station, which is running the fridge, the fan, charging up some camera batteries as we speak. So the plan now is to pop a squat, enjoy this beverage, and enjoy this lakefront campsite until my buddy Evan gets here. And I almost forgot for all you foodies out there, we're doing chicken tacos tonight. I'm also gonna make up some homemade guacamole, which should be excellent. It's one of my favorite things to cook, or I guess you don't really cook it, but you chop things up and you put it in a bowl and mix it together and mash it, and it's, it's one of my favorites. So I'll see you guys as soon as Evan gets here. Back here. Oh. You're good. You're good. Not good. I saw it, dude. You guys saw maybe a third of the time lapse of Evan and I trying to set up this tent for the first time. It's done. So now you guys saw my truck camper set up. So now we're gonna we're gonna do a walk around of Evan's truck tent topper setup. Hey guys, I'm Evan, and I wanted to show you my truck tent setup today. I just ordered this off of Amazon. Actually, it's the uh, Joy Tutus brand. I don't know how you say that. Tutus, Tutus. Not sure. I say, dang. <laughs> we have a little bit of a mess still. We're it's it's a long story, but. I'm a little slow sometimes at doing things in general, but also for the first time. And so uh, this is this is what we came up with though. After a little bit of sweat, a lot of bit of sweat, it's very hot today. Uh, we were able to get this thing together. So we've got the rain skirt pulled over. I do have a truck uh, bed cover. It's one of the like canvas ones that roll up. It's actually hidden under here, but also from Amazon. Best. Dude, awesome. uh, it Dude. works out nice because then it kind of like, you can rest the skirt over it. It does. It'll pull the rain off instead of dropping it into the bed. That's what we were hoping. So yeah, it just kind of, um, it sits up here kind of on the, I guess, edge of your, you know, truck bed rail. And uh, then it has these clips that just go under and you can clip those onto whatever you can find. But uh, it has a rain cover as well. We're not going to set that up because it is literally a sauna outside and has been for a long time. But yeah. This is it. I have an air mattress as well that uh, fits the uh, truck bed. So. Dude, can I say that <laughs> we just pumped this thing up? It's got like three compartments. So you've got like the bed rest back there, but 
the pump is kind of where Evan's hand is. Yeah. Yeah, show, show it's pretty sweet. Quick. Which this is actually, really neat. It out. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. I didn't know this. They actually figured this out. So um, press that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you press it, and cartridge, it style. cartridge comes out, and then it has some attachments that you can put in to inflate and deflate. So really cool and rechargeable. Rechargeable. That's your the thing SBC. I love about that, dude. That's so clutch. It is. Sick, man. So you excited for your first night in this? I'm really excited. Uh, hopefully this is going to be nice and comfy. Uh, i got my windows open, letting some air come through the tent. So, yeah, check out this beautiful view. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to wake up to that? Now that we've done a breakdown of my camper setup, as well as Evan's new 10 camper setup, we're going to go swimming, and then we're going to come back, take a closer look at this fridge, and do a little bit of cooking. Catch you guys in a minute. <laughs> Tonight, guys, this is going to be the first episode of what I'm going to call Cooking with Gas. And it's going to be brought to you by this beautiful, absolutely beautiful camping fridge by Bouge RV. This is going to be their Rocky 40. It's a 40 liter dual zone fridge freezer. And it's the first time I've really been out here using it. And I'm really excited because it's got everything that we're going to need to cook tonight's dinner, which is going to be basically street chicken tacos. But first, we're going to cook up our own homemade guac. So, Evan, you ready, dude? Yeah, let's do it. By the way, this is this is my boy Evan. Are you are you beverage popped? I am. I am. Cheers, friend. Cheers, man. Let's make some guacamole. Kaha. <laughs> also, just a little feature of this Bouge RV fridge is it's all stainless on the outside, so it can do cool things like hold my beer <laughs> with the <laughs> magnetic strip. Absolutely love it. We're gonna need. It's the best thing I've ever seen for Kevin. I would. <laughs> We're gonna need an onion. Right. You mind? Yeah. We're gonna need a lime, un jalapeno. I've got some garlic in here as well. Toss that over there, and we've got one, two, and I already had to break into How many avocado. people are you gonna think you're judging the way I'm trying to cut this onion right now? Oh, dude, it's fine. What do you think, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just run over the ingredients. We've got onion, we've got avocado, we've got garlic, we've got a jalapeno, we've got a lime, some fresh cilantro. Why do they call this, chi what is it, Chinese lettuce? I've heard that before. Dude, is that, I don't know if I'm getting that right. Put it in the comments what this is called, but I've always called it cilantro. All right, so we're going to do that. I think cilantro. that's going to be everything we need to get rolling. So Evan's already, I didn't even have to ask. He's already on the works with that onion. <laughs> Something, like that. Something like that. <laughs> I do need a knife, though. Yeah, then I'm setting you up here with a cutting board. I'm going to get you a knife. I'll get you the big daddy of all knives. Yeah, the butcher. And while you're over there cutting that, I'm gonna go ahead and just chop up this jalapeno, get it ready. So we're just gonna dice that up real nice. You know, we've gotta be, be perfect. We've gotta be really careful about uh, our trash tonight because you know the raccoons here are really bad. Oh guys, the last time we were camping, we had- A party. Yeah, some nuisance raccoons would maybe be the best word. I don't, weren't scared of anything. We had a full-on enclosed bug tent, and all of a sudden, I just we're sitting by the fire, and I hear like some rustling. Opened our cooler, opened the cooler, and took the food out of the cooler. Little rascals, man. Gosh. Little street rats. So Girl. we're just gonna chop up some jalapenos. I like it. Do you boys like it spicy? Sure. Yeah. Right, yeah. And we're not gonna go a little, little bit. Nothing crazy. All right. We're not gonna go too fine with the chop there. We'll just leave it right. as is. I finally have the onion prepared. Thank you, sir. Except you gotta cut it first. Oh yeah. We're gonna drop that there. So while Evan's chopping up that onion, one thing I wanna like show you guys is the dual zone fridge is also a freezer. It's got a divider in it, which I haven't totally figured out. It's pretty cool technology, but as soon as I lift this out, this screen jumps to single zone. And then as soon as I drop it back in, it automatically detects that it's set up for dual zone. That's really awesome. It is, right? Yeah. So you can have, like we've got half a bag of pizza rolls we already <laughs> dig dug into them a little bit but things like this you want to keep frozen so you can have one side as a freezer the other side is a fridge or you can just rock it both fridge or you can take this out entirely and treat it as one unit whether it's fridge or freezer it is pretty freaking awesome man what sold me on this fridge is probably the stainless outside i think it is just it looks rugged it looks <laughs> rugged man and it's but still like super modern i would agree yeah i would have no, to I like agree with you Let's get a bull rock in here to get our ingredients into. Please don't chop my hand. Ha ha. That'll be 
that. So put the jalapeno in there. Oh, you're good? Right, I did chop a little bit too much onions, but... Hey, actually, let's save some of those for the tacos. There you go. Yes. Always thinking with my dipstick. Yeah. That is I the wonder if they can see this right now. I, I hope really the camera fixes that boat because it is... Are they even fishing? I've never seen anything like it. What's they the have difference? They have LED headlights all around the boat. They're orange. If you guys are caught up on my videos, I just installed those pod lights on the front of the truck. That is what it looks like in all four directions off that boat. I think let's save the rest for... The tacos. The tacos, yes, sir. Agreed. Dude, what do you think of this campsite so far? It's a great site, man. That was one of the best sunsets I've seen in a long time. I tell it's people, a great spot. Tennessee sunsets are forced to beckon They are. With, forced to beckon with, forced to reckon forced. with. That's right. <laughs> so we're going to just get our guac in there. Or, sorry, our avocado. It's not quite guac yet. It will be. Very soon. It shall be. You mind disposing of that guy, Corny? It's going to be so good. I honestly got these avocados like way long ago than I care to admit. So we're just going to hope for the best. They look perfectly ripe to me. So I think it's going to be a good walk. Oh, we're good. Look at that. We're good. Give it the old sketchy knife hit. Yes. I'm not good with the garlic. I use the like a uh, garlic and vinegar or whatever. Oh, you're not. Not a, out of a jar. Fresh garlic. Coming no, out. I am. So I just I never get it. Cut and garlic. <laughs> Cheat code for all the garlic cutters out. out there. You get your clove, right? Maybe a little bit of, of flake on it still. You take the knife and you just crush it down. Give it one little smack and it breaks all that off for you. It makes it real easy to peel. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. <laughs> Guys. So we're going to do... I've, I've heard about this. Yeah. Now you know. Because that is, my friends, cooking with gas. When I'm making guacamole, I like to cut up the garlic, or mince, excuse me, is probably the right term. I like to mince the garlic, and instead of putting the salt right into it, I usually put the, uh, thank you, man. I'm dropping stuff. Oh, those those raccoons are freaking menaces. So they might, gonna, we might actually, they might get to see one. Who knows? That would be... They were out very early and almost came up to let us pet them. I promise they're not paid actors. If they show up, it's all natural. They do have fingers. They do have fingers, and they might have thumbs, dude. <laughs> they might have they thumbs. They opened people. our fridge. People are worried about wait. AI. I'm worried about raccoons. We mince our garlic, we take our salt, and instead of pouring it right into the guacamole, and if any of you guys are fans of the Action Bronson. Off the top of a fucking building. Dagger, dagger. So, now you have minced garlic. He has a cooking show, or at least he did back in the day. And he is the gentleman that taught me everything I know about guacamole. So we're just going to put a little bit of salt right on the garlic. Kind of mix it up. And toss that in the guac. This is going to be just dirty freaking, not dirty, it's not actually dirty. <laughs> Quick and dirty camping guac. Quick and dirty camping guac. There you go. Would you mind tossing a bit of cayenne on there? Sure. I'm going to get this lime Give it a sliced slice. in half. Yes, sir. And then that little guy right there is my grandfather's homemade chili powder. Awesome, Be easy man. with it. Okay. So it's got some kick. It's got some kick. Last but not least, a little bit of lime. Now we just mash that up. And I think we're going to put this back in the Rocky 40 Bouge RV fridge, which by the way, folks, I'm going to throw up a promo code for you guys on the screen. Right now you can go pick one up. Not have to spend a whole lot of dollars on it. Or at least not as many dollars as you otherwise would have. So, thank you, boy. Thank you to the cooking show, Cooking with Gas. And uh, go pick one up if you're into the oh, camping scene. They're awesome, man. I what do you think? One. Would you Would you cop? I get one. They're amazing. No ice. You don't have to fool with ice ever again. Dude, that's my favorite part. It's, it doesn't drain. You know, it doesn't take a lot of power to run. It seems, you know, power station has, you know, worked perfectly. If you guys have a fridge like this and you've got a, like a power station or a battery you're running it off of, I highly recommend that before you go camping, bring that thing inside, plug it into your wall, which by the way, this thing has a wall outlet as well as a cigarette outlet. So you can keep it on while you're driving, slap it around. As well the as these incredible heavy duty handles. <laughs> Spring handles. Yes. But I like to bring my uh, fridge inside before I go camping and just plug it into the wall and let it get down to temperature. 
and then I bring it out to the truck, hook it up to the power station. That way I just save a little bit of battery. But honestly, it takes most of the power when it's cooling. Yeah. And then once it's down to, it's just down, it's just like right now, hit, yeah. that, hit that bright button on there, and it is pulling four watts. That four. is next to nothing. <laughs> We're going to toss this guacamole back in the fridge and let that cool down while we are on to the rest of our meal. Yeah. So Evan's grabbing the chicken, and I am dicing up the last of our cilantro. Oh, gosh. Sorry. I'm trying to bake, <laughs> break my new fruit. <laughs> Note to self. No, so I'm the fridge still. And we're doing the old food club taco season. Um, yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, it's just tough times. <laughs> you can say that. You can say that. <laughs> One could definitely say <laughs> tough times. So the plan here is to probably get this thing cooking with gas. I didn't get corn. I'm terribly sorry. Oh, dude. I got sorry. flour tortillas because it's... Like, like you said, times are tough. I'm just gonna kind of dice up this chicken here and uh, no shame about it. We're just gonna toss that in. I'll take that knife from me if you don't mind. Yeah, let me scoop her on in there. And we're just gonna get that on the cast iron. Let that do its thing. You notice that guys, how I made Evan do the dirty work with the chicken? You could say it was planned. Usually how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take our tortillas out so they start to like get up to room temp. I also got us some Mexican cheese. Yeah. This freaking fridge holds so much. It really does. There's, there's a good bit of space in there, actually. I was right. That. It's, it's deep. And yes. here's the cool thing. Let's say like my chicken leaked everywhere. Let me just take all the food out. Give it a little wipe in there. Drop the food back in like it's nothing. So I decided there were too many chefs in the kitchen. I kicked Evan over. He's gonna go make a fire for us to eat by. Because there's a million and one bugs out here, so I think Having a fire will probably help, but our chicken is about, I don't know, 80% cooked through. I'm gonna add a bit of water in there. Then we're gonna add. Weird snack tub. Oh. Just try one. Oh, thank you. What is that? It is a, it's a coconut, Chris. Oh. Kind of weird, but yeah. I was honestly expecting more like a bugle, not a coconut crisp. That's really good. A Little bit of that poor man's taco seasoning. Should do us just fine. And I think, that is gonna about do it for our chicken, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill the stove there, let that just cook off for a minute, and uh, doing it simple, guys. We got tortillas, some chicken, some cheese, some sour cream, some guacamole, some fresh cilantro and onion, and then topped with a little bit of lime juice. So we're gonna go crush these tacos and guac by the fire and uh, catch up with you guys before bed. Good morning, folks. It is the next day, and uh, it was it was a bit of a hot one last night. The truck camper was a little toasty, and in fact, we're at an RV site, so we do have like full hookups. Should have just brought an air conditioner, kept the whole truck cool, but you know what did stay cool? The Bouge RV Rocky 40. This baby's still at 29 on one side and 30 degrees on the other, and it didn't drain my Solix, which is great. So the power station stayed totally i think it's still like 45 percent running a fan all night as well and this guy i think it might be the more most eco friendly eco friendly let's use a different term it uses the least amount of wattage of all the fridges i've used and tried out so far so very impressed with this guy um let's go ahead and see how the food's doing before we open it up i want to point out a couple things on this so as i mentioned before you've got your outlet here which you can run a basically a home outlet or right now i am using just a cigarette outlet to run into the power station which works out great and then you also have a port here that you can just plug solar right into so if you didn't have the power station you could just plug your solar panel right into it you've also got this little thing here which is where an external battery would go so bouge rv sells a battery for this fridge so if you didn't want to have a power station you didn't have one you didn't have a solar panel you could charge your external battery pop that in there and keep the fridge running for i want to say at least 12 to 14 hours possibly more comes with two sprung handles on each side which is really nice it makes handling this thing a breeze because it's i mean it's not the lightest thing in the world especially when it's packed down with food so having two pole handles that are pretty pretty heavy duty is really nice up here you've got your settings as well as some USB plugins so you can charge your phone off this. 
You've got a plus and minus so that way you can adjust the temperature on it. You've got a settings setting. <laughs> You've got a settings button so that way you can do things like change it from eco to max mode. You can change how much water is just being pulled low, medium, and high depending on what you're using to uh, to actually power this thing with. You can switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius as well as it has a Bluetooth app so I can actually be driving, check on my fridge, make sure things are still staying cool while I'm on my way to camp. And then taking a look inside, you've got little lights here on either side which is pretty nice just for access at nighttime. And then you've got this divider as well as these trays. So as I was mentioning yesterday, you can pull these trays all the way out, take your food out, wipe down anything you need to wipe down, pop your food back in. And then you've got this divider here, which just pulls right out and automatically changes the fridge to a single compartment. And so far it looks like the food held up all night. We've got all sorts of goodies in here, some remnants of some guacamole, which will probably get touched this morning. So first I think coffee is in order. So I'm gonna grab the beans, but actually, how was your stay in the hotel last night? Dude, it was it was pretty nice. Um, still waking up as you can see, but um, yeah, super comfortable. Uh, the mattress stayed inflated all night, which is always great. So, yeah, how's, how's was, the ventilation? I would say it's like a it's solid. The windows are big on the inside. There's these huge front window of two side windows in the back one. So wait, you didn't pretty, have that one open? I last did night. not. No, I did not. I, I didn't know I that was a thing. Might have just realized this morning that it's another window. <laughs> so uh, it's got like four windows and. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Dude, that's cool. I give it a solid rating, so. I like that, it's a unique camper setup. Yeah. yeah. Gotta do more of this. Absolutely. So the Rocky fridge just fits pretty dang perfect in the side of this truck. It like literally butts right up against the wheel well and then right up against the tailgate. So it's it's about as tight of a fit as you can get. I think I'm gonna rock the coffee while Evan gets started on that brekkie. So we're gonna need the bean grinder. I'm a French press sucker. And are you gonna use both those burners or can I snag one? I one yeah. Heck yeah. One of the tin cups for water, get that boiling. And I think my job's easier than his, so I think that is about all I need. So just real talk, guys. You guys have been really enjoying the camping videos. I can see that based on the viewership, based on the comments. You guys seem to really be enjoying it. So I'm trying to uh, make sure I put these out on a more consistent basis. Also, been really trying to put out some longer form content because I know at least me personally I love to just sit back pop on a YouTube video and just like not have to worry about changing it every five minutes or 15 minutes so let me know down in the comments one what you guys think of the camping videos any cool places you'd like me to try camping at I do have a bit of a stealth camper setup if I need it to be but I do love getting out in the wilderness and like actually enjoying camp so let me know what kind of uh, let me know down in the comments what kind of camping videos you want to see and then also how you guys like the long form stuff things that are like 30 plus woo 30 plus minutes long i think you guys like it i'm hoping you do so i'm going to keep them rolling i'm also going to keep rolling this bean grinder for a bit it was pretty funny this morning i was like just opening my eyes and uh kind of just crawling out of bed and then all of a sudden i just hear like this loud bang I look out the back of the tail, the tailgate glass, and the camper that was next to us straight up dropped their camper off of their hitch somehow as they were pulling away. And we're on, I mean, not a hill, but if that thing decided to roll any further, it was going down the hill into the water. Yeah, so that was exciting. A great way to wake up. Uh, they got it sorted out, though. And they just headed out of here, like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. But nonetheless, pretty funny. First time I've ever seen that happen. Oh, also in case anyone's curious, we are gonna be having the Mad Priest Coffee Roasters Dark Night of the Soul. Dark Roast Blend. Sunshine, Puppy Kisses, Sigh of Relief are the flavor notes. <laughs> How awesome is that? I, I like their coffee a lot, it's really good. Uh, we'll read this out. To curious people who are sick of the bland corporate her heretical, heretical? Her Heretical <laughs> coffee experience, Mad Priest Coffee Roasters is the unconventional, creative, sacred coffee choice. While we may be irrelevant, we will always take our coffee and our mission seriously because we are mad about injustice, especially, especially societal inequality and bad coffee. I love that. Also, I'm, I need coffee before I start reading things. It's too early for that.
Ladies and gents, I am back home. Got the old truck camper set up unloaded and unpacked. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I've really enjoyed testing out some new gear lately. This Rocky 40 is really cool for a multitude of reasons. And now that I'm really starting to dial in this truck camper set up with some new gear, the power station, the fridge, I'm excited to hopefully start working on what I think is gonna be version two of the camper build. And I was thinking about doing not wood for the next one, but extruded aluminum and kind of just using some new materials. And I was gonna go with black painted extruded aluminum, but now that we have this beautiful stainless Rocky 40 in here, I'm thinking maybe we do silver. And then also need to figure out what to do with this camper shell, cause I'm still not in love with it. Would love to do something like a GFC, but you know, they're expensive and I also would love to figure out a way to do something DIY. I think that would be really cool. However, only time will tell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the walk around of this truck as well as Evan's 10 camper setup and adding in the new little mini series within the episodes, Cooking with Gas. So I will see you guys in the next one. Keep elevating my friends. I love you. Adios.